well good morning happy friday today is friday the 4th of december and it is the third episode of evolution the off-season improvement diaries so i hope you enjoyed the last one and today is going to be i'm going to do a bit of what i'm eating a bit of what i'm doing the day but the main bulk of today is going to be going through my workout session so i will be training at ultraflex today because gyms are finally open in the uk we opened a couple of days ago so i'm going to be taking my camera into the gym showing you my session what exercises i do talk maybe put some of the rep ranges explaining it for you and yeah that's going to be my day so sit back relax get yourself a nespresso with sugar-free gingerbread and almond milk you can have whatever beverage you want but this is the top tier beverage and enjoy my day so episode three let's get into it always thank you for your check-in so let's sort of talk through what's happened this week obviously it's the first week back into the gym after that sort of time off because i know you struggled with the the home workouts and getting into the swing of things at home so now it's about getting yourself back into routines getting your structure back and i know you don't struggle in the gym you don't have any issues with the struggling with motivation when you're in the gym so now we can really get things back on track and really start to level up the rate of progress that we have been seeing morning check-ins done so friday is always quite a busy day for online client check-ins so sometimes i do work in the gym on a friday morning so then i come home and do them but today i've got the luxury of not working till tonight with one-to-one -one pt clients so got them all done this morning nice and early and now i'm about to make some pre-workout food for my upper session and this is probably one of the in fact it's the biggest challenge i have to face every single training day and that is which flavour cream of rice do I go for? Um, I mean, I kind of want them all, I'm not going to lie to you. So, I think today we're going to go for... Oh, it's so hard, like, it's genuinely a super hard decision. If you know cream of rice, you'll know how hard a decision this is. But I'm going to go for chocolate fudge today. Stick on a bit of YouTube while I'm watching that finish our check-ins and then we hit up her. I'm really excited for today's session. I don't know why, I just, do you know sometimes when you wake up and you're just like, I'm gonna kill this. That's today, so hopefully it's some good footage for you, some PBs maybe, some good lifts, we'll see. But now to smash the cream of rice and then we train. To get ready to train so pre-workout ritual is always the same pre-workout which the color of that looks like something shrek drink doesn't it but it's just a combination of two which is why it's got a disgusting color fill out the log book watch some youtube i am a very firm believer for me that pre-workout ritual is key just to get your headspace in the right frame of mind to go and attack a session just to get yourself focused switched off from life and switched on to the session at hand Logbook's getting filled out, Pre's getting drunk, and then we go hit it up.
it's just getting cooked up now. Um, creatine post-workout, does it need to be post-workout? No. Um, people sort of ask when should you take it. Um, I've not even said how my session was. session was really good, thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm a bit delirious, I'm, I'm just really hungry. Um, after. It was a really good session. But yes, creatine um, post-workout, why? There are a few studies which suggest that for aesthetic purposes, taking it post-workout can help. Um, but realistically, when should you take it? When you remember, as long as it's consistent, every single day. Creating run over, I'm gonna eat, I'm starving. Um, yeah, really hungry. Hungry! Aggressive, but is what it is. <laughs> can you see, can you see Maxwell? Say hi, Maxie. He just wants my food that's on the go, don't you? You just want my food. He isn't getting it. Harsh, but it's a dog eat dog world. Dog eat dog world. having two things of food post-workout because I am hungry after that session and because my carbs have now increased I do want to have a big bulk of my carbohydrates sort of around my training window for recovery purposes and simply because after that I'm starving and I'll still have a decent amount of carbs I'll still have over 150 carbs for the rest of the day so I had some turkey and rice uh, for the main part decided I was still flipping starving so I've just got a bowl of cereal which I'm just gonna have dry and then some grapes as well for some fruit. I really wanted some frozen blueberries, but I'm all out. I've just got an issue at the moment. I'm getting through like a bag a day. It's a problem. But yes, that is what I'm having now. And then I'm going to go do some work before I head into work tonight for clients. So catch you in a bit if I catch you in a bit. So I'm going to leave this video here because all I'm doing for the rest of the day is work. And that is pretty boring. So I've just got my... God tier beverage, which is the BTEC cost, which I put on my story, which is coffee, let it go cold, because I get asked all the time. Ice, loads of it, about a good solid handful. Almond milk, unsweetened, because low calorie. And sugar-free gingerbread, because Christmas, which I get from Amazon. Blender, in a blender, and you get the nicest iced coffee ever. I'd call it a BTEC Costa because it's like a Costa on the cheap. But to be honest, it tastes better. I'd pay for this. I'd pay for this shit. So... Do it, make it, um, tag me on your Instagram and thank me later because I'll be saving you all the money long term because it's cheaper than a Costa. But thank you for watching episode three. Hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions? Anything you want to see? Anything at all? Even if you want to say hi, say hi. Comment below hi if you've watched it all because I'll say hi back and that's friendly, isn't it? Um, yeah, see you later, guys. Catch you in episode